This is my first video with the Senna 10C. Seems like a really good piece of kit. And I'm just about to show you one of the best roads in Sydney, Australia. This is my Triumph Street Triple. 675 and I have my daughter on the back going for a picnic it's a beautiful mid-winter's day right now it's about 19 degrees Celsius not bad for winter you can see the beautiful blue sky so we often in winter get these beautiful sunny days rather than a lot of rain and gloom but we have had some really cold weather this winter or cold by our standards where it's been 13 or 14 during the day and 4 at night at the moment it's about 10 at night but today is absolutely gorgeous so we're going on a picnic I've decided not to tell you where this road is in Sydney. A lot of motorbike people will know this road. It's, um, it's a fantastic road. And <laughs> the signs that we're going past are probably going to give it away. Oh, yeah, that's a waste of time. I might as well just tell you. We're going on the West Head Road. I didn't want to say where we were going because it's a fantastic road and there's not too many people on it so I didn't want um, everybody in Sydney with a motorbike to start coming here because it would spoil it maybe I might cut that out of the video I'm not sure uh, I think the signs are going to give it away and certainly the view will give it away to people who live in Sydney. So here we go, this is about uh, 12 kilometres, 80 kilometres an hour limit, roughly. And um, it's a part of a national park, so it's not policed very much and the um, you don't get a lot of traffic because you have to pay to come in here but I have a an annual pass so I can come here whenever I want to um, although it costs you about $65 a year I think but one entry into the park is $11 so it's worth it and it's not too far from where I live and as you'll see it is a beautiful ride for a car or a motorbike but especially a motorbike I noticed the Senna making some noise my helmet is a Shark Speed R it's usually very quiet but the, uh, there's a bit of whistling going on around the uh, Senna 10C. I don't think there's much I'll be able to do about that. I don't know if you can hear it on the recording or not.
just try to adjust the volume in the music a bit and because it's the first time I've used it it's a bit hard to find the volume control it'd be nice if it was um, audio find it. I'll just enjoy the ride I think. You may find that I'm talking a bit strangely because this um, helmet is brand new and as you probably know brand new helmets are very tight around the cheeks. I don't normally talk like this and once the um, helmet is broken in it won't press so tightly this is my uh, third shark helmet really good helmets love it light quiet comfortable One of the dangers on this road, I don't know if you've seen any signs for it, but one of the dangers on this road is kangaroos and other wildlife. So if a kangaroo hops out in front of you, all of a sudden on a motorbike, not the kangaroo on the motorbike, but me on the motorbike, if it jumps out in front of you, you're going to be in big trouble on a motorbike. I have had kangaroos jumping along beside the bike, racing me along this road because you have to slow down in case they jump out in front of you so they were able to keep up with me until I got past them so it's a bit of an unusual uh, road hazard usually worse in the late afternoon or early morning middle of the day they like to have a siesta Right now it's about 2 p.m., 2.40 p.m. Gonna have a late lunch out of the lookout. So, no kangaroos at the moment, but they could be on the way back in about an hour or so. The sun goes down at about 5 p.m. in winter. We're about... Um, 40 minutes outside of the centre of Sydney or outside of the CBD so it's not that far and you can see what a beautiful natural area it is of course there's no houses allowed out here this is National Park lots of bushwalks here you'll see the cars on the side like that one they park there and walk we're running along the top of a, of a ridge and down either side of the ridge is water on the left side is um, pit water sort of the Hawkesbury River I think yeah the Hawkesbury River is on the left and on the right is pit water and we're heading towards the heads where the um, where the river and the bay meet and it's open ocean actually I'm um, you know it is the Hawkesbury I have no idea if the centre is lined up properly, I did it as best I could. It's got a pretty wide angle vision so that probably doesn't matter too much. Um, it'd be nice if you could preview it 
on your smartphone app so you could see what what it's filming give you an idea of where it's aimed but you can't do that on this on this camera very easy to set up and use once you've read the instructions sound quality is good the instructions are pretty complicated for all the various functions it takes a little while to get used to them now we're coming down to the car park area Often see little wallabies down the end of this road looking for food. But one of the best views in Sydney. One of my favourite places to come. I don't think my daughter's been here yet, so it'll be a first for her. I hope on the tape you can hear the beautiful uh, street triple. It has an arrow system on it, sounds really good. Okay, Alicia, Alicia's hopping off, saying hello. I'll show you the view in a minute. 